Hi guys, currently we have built Ratchet WebSocket Chat application in Laravel framework. And in this part, we will learn how to search user under this chat application. By using Ratchet WebSocket library, so we can search user data in real time. In previous part, we have already show how to list all registered user data on the web page with send request button by using WebSocket library, but it will load all user data on the web page. But now, we want to search or filter specific user data, so this things we will learn under this part. So here in text editor, we have to open dashboard.blade.php file. And under this file, here under this tag, we want to create one search box. And below this search box, we have load user data, which we have learned in previous part. Now for filter this user data, here we have to create one search box. So for this, here we have to write, input type is equal to text. After this, we have to write, placeholder attribute is equal to, search user. And after this, we have to write, autocomplete attribute value set to off. After this, we have goes to JavaScript code part, and here, we have to create, one JavaScript function. With name like, search user, with two argument like, from user id, and search query variable. Under this function, we have to write, if statement, and under condition. We have to write, search query dot length value is greater than zero. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code, and under this block. We have to write, data variable is equal to, an array. In array first key, we have to write, from user id, and in value, we have to write, from user id variable. In second key, we have to write, search query, and in value, we have to write, search query variable. And in last key, we have to write type, and in value, we have to write, request search user. So here, we have stored data, under this data variable, now we want to send, this data to, WebSocket controller. So here, we have to write, connect variable dot send method, and under this method. We have to write, json.stringify method, and under this, we have to write, data variable. So this code will send data to, WebSocket controller, in json string format. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute, else block of code. And under this function, we have to call, load unconnected user function, with from user id variable. So it will load all user data under search people area division tag. So here our function is ready. Now we have goes to search text box. And here we have to write on key up is equal to search user function with two argument. In first argument, we have to write Laravel expression. And between this, we have to write off function with ID. So it will return login user ID, and in second argument, we have to write this dot value. So when we have type in search text box, then it will call search user function for search user data. Now we have to open socket controller.php file and under this file. We have goes into on message function, here this function will be called on receive message. Under this function, here we have to write, if statement, and under condition. We have to write, data type variable value is equal to, request search user. If this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to search user data, in MySQL database. So for this, here we have to write, dollar user data variable is equal to user class with select method, and under this method, we have to write table column like, id, name, user status, and user image. 
After this, we have to write, where method, with three argument. In first argument, we have to write, id table column name. In second argument, we have to write, not equal to sign. And in third argument, we have to write, dollar data from user id variable. After this, we have again write, where method, with three argument. In first argument, we have to write, name table column. In second argument, we have to write, like statement. And in third argument, we have to write, percentage sign, and between this, we have to write, dollar data search query variable. Next, we have to write, order by method, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write, name table column. And in second argument, we have to write, ascending order. And lastly, we have to write get method, so this query will make, select query like. Select id, name, user status and user image from user table. Where id is not equal to login user id, and name like query which, we have to type, in search text box. After this, it will make query like, order by name, in ascending order. And it will execute query, and return query execution result, in an array format, which is store in dollar user data variable. Now below this, we have to write, dollar sub data variable is equal to, an array. Now for page data from dollar user data variable here, we have to write, for each loop. And under condition, we have to write, dollar user data variable, as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have to write, dollar sub data variable is equal to an array. And in array first key, we have to write, name and in value, we have to write, dollar row name variable. In second key, we have to write key, and in value, we have to write, dollar row id variable. In third key, we have to write status, and in value, we have to write, dollar row user status variable. And in last key, we have to write user image, and in value, we have to write, dollar row user image variable. So this way, we have store user data under this dollar sub data variable. Now we want to get login user connection id, so here we have to write, dollar sender connection id variable is equal to user class with select method and under this method we have to write connect it table column name after this we have to write where method with two argument in first argument we have to write it table column name and in second argument we have to write dollar data variable with from user it variable and after this, we have to write get method, so it will make and execute this query, and store result, in dollar sender connection id variable. Now below this, we have to write, dollar send data, with data variable is equal to, dollar sub data variable. And dollar send data, response search user variable is equal to true. Now we want to send data to login user, so here, we have to write, for each loop. And under condition, we have to write, dollar this client's variable, as dollar client variable. Under this loop, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Dollar client resource id variable value is equal to. Dollar sender condition variable with zero index with connection id table column value. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have to write dollar client variable with send method. And under this method, we have to write JSON encode function with dollar send data. So it will send response to connected client in JSON string format. So this way, it will send data to client in JSON format. Now we have goes to dashboard.blade.php file and here we want to display filter user data. 
So here, we have goes into on method function and under this function. We have already write this if statement and this code also display list of user data on the web page. And this code we have write in previous part. So here we have simply write or statement. And after this, we have to write data dot response search user in condition. So if any one of the condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And this block of code will display all user data or filter user data with chat request button on the web page. So here our code is ready. Now we want to check output in the browser. So for this, we have goes to command prompt and here we have first stop web socket server. And after this, we have to restart WebSocket server by run this command. Now here in the browser, we can see chat application dashboard page and here we can see list of user data with chat button. Now we have to refresh web page and after refresh of web page, here we can see that. Search text box has been appear above the list of user data, which we can see here. Now we want to filter user data, so here in search text box, we have to start, type username details. So after type, here, we can see that user data has been filtered in real time without refresh of web page. And here, we can see filter user data on the web page with chat request button. And here, we have use pure WebSocket library for filter user data. Now in inspect element, we have goes to network tab. And here, again we have type query in search box and after type query. Here in network tab, we can see that user search request send and filter user data has been received in JSON format. And the data we have display in graphical format by using vanilla JavaScript. So in this part, we have learned how to search or filter user data under this chat application. By using Ratchet WebSocket library, in next part, we will learn how to send chat request to other user. Under this chat application, by using WebSocket library, so we will be meet in next part.